Ladies and gentlemen, I did a segment on the stock market crash channel pertaining to the Bitcoin whales and the price capitulation and the fact that nothing really can stop Bitcoin from getting to 10000 or lower. It's not something I want. It's not something that I'm happy or gleeful about because I know people are going to lose money. I don't want anyone to lose money. I don't want my greatest adversaries to lose money because that means that, you know, you don't have food on the table. You can't, you know, feed your family. This, this is serious stuff. And the Bitcoin crash to 10000 or lower channel is... I created it to tell the world that we are witnessing and we're going to see the greatest implosion of wealth in modern U.S. and world history. I want to give people, uh, you could say a warning or let people know, when I started the Stock Market Crash Channel in 2021, so I have three channels, H.A. Goodman, the Stock Market Crash Channel, the Bitcoin Crash Channel. I have been spot on. Like I have been more accurate. I have predicted exactly what's taking place. The economy is in, heading into a recession. I stated that in September of 2021 in on H.A. Goodman in September of 2021. Then I started in the middle of, the, of, of September 2021, the stock market crash channel. And I also said in September of 2021 that Bitcoin would crash. I have that se those segments in the pin in the description. Now, I come with the receipts. It's not like I haven't been accurately predicting and actually actually telling you everything that's taking place. Unfortunately, I don't want this to happen. But when you end economic activity, lock down economies, all of these things that were completely insane two years ago, you have you opened up a Pandora's box, $10 trillion pumped into the economy through fiscal and monetary stimulus. Then you have inflation. Then you have a GDP that's plummeting because commodity prices, economic growth, has it's, it's been a disaster. Supply chains have broken down. Supply and demand projections were obliterated when uh, wonderful, morally superior experts and uh, wonderful Democrats and media said we had to end economic activity. Then immediately you had commodity prices through the roof when they started to turn back on the lights and economic activity. You can't do that. We've never done this before. This is an experiment in madness. And it caused a bubble in the Bitcoin and crypto world that is now deflating before our very eyes. Coin Telegraph, small Bitcoin whales uh, may be keeping Bitcoin price from capitulation analysis, says, hit subscribe to this channel, ladies and gentlemen, the Bitcoin crash to 10,000 or lower channel, subscribe to the stock market crash channel below in the pinned comment and subscribe to H.A. Goodman. I have a very important segment on the Durham Probe uh, special counsel. Now, what could take place, ladies and gentlemen, is that it could go back up to 50,000. I don't know. It could go stay at 28,000. It'll probably go down. But the issue with Bitcoin is that the market rebounded, quote unquote, somewhat last week. But it didn't rebound. But the Bitcoin price didn't rebound. And who knows where Ethereum will be in a couple of months or a year. Most of the crypto world will cease to exist, unfortunately. Uh, before Terra Luna went under, Do Kwan was interviewed. And he said 95% of crypto will cease to exist. And that's true. That's true. Uh, but that was before Terra Luna uh, completely went under. I want to read you also this article. Crypto whales ditch tether for USDC after stablecoin panic. USDC, tether, um, they're all going to be Terra Luna. Okay? They're not backed by enough reserves if you have a 60 to $70 billion market cap and you go down to 95 cents because 10 billion or seven, seven to 10 billion was, was, was removed from your quote unquote stable point, you go down to 95 cents is what Terra Tether went down to 95 cents. It's not pegged to anything. They have a tiny fraction and USDC, US, USDC has a similar, although not exact, situation. These stable coins are not stable, okay? Nothing is stable. The, de the decentralized finance market is full of scams. Ten billion of it is, is theft and corruption, okay? Ten billion dollars of a $106 billion DeFi industry. That's according to CNBC. So if, I, if those numbers are wrong, let me know. But, like... The inherent value or the store of value or the hedge to inflation, all of these things are nonsense, unfortunately. I don't say this with glee. It's, 
Bitcoin is the opposite of what you want to own in times of pessimism, okay? Because it's correlated directly to the willingness to speculate and nobody has any desire to speculate when the market tanks. Now, it's interesting. The UST failure prompted large investors on the Ethereum blockchain to leave USDT for the perceived safety of its biggest competitor. But USDC <laughs> is in pretty much the same situation. Okay? All of these all of these things will eventually become XRP and and Terra Luna and Coinbase is good. like Coinbase will go under because people, they get the vast majority, like 80 to 90 percent of their revenue from trades. People are not going to want to trade when everything is either worthless or going down. They're just going to want to sell and get their money out. Try getting your money out of Coinbase when everything implodes. Try getting your money out of Tether or USDC when everything implodes. Okay, it's this is not. They talk about liquidity, but there really isn't liquidity in in crypto when when things actually when like the the when people investors realize that wait a second, there's nothing holding this up. It's just optimism, and there's no optimism anymore. So you can have an algorithm printing coins, or you can say that well we don't have an algorithm, but we're backed by uh, reserves. You can try to market and sell, you know, any type of, you, you can engage in any type of uh, public relations strategy. It ain't going to work when the overall stock market is plummeting. So you have the Dow, the NASDAQ, the S&P, stocks in general, the stock market in general, like I when I started the stock market crash channel in September of 2021, 20, telling everybody, I told everyone this, and... It's only going to get worse. We're, we're facing global food shortages, people. We're facing global food shortages. It's not like... This is not an example, ladies and gentlemen, of a little correction. This is a catastrophic thing where we had Archegos last year and Melvin Capital, but Archegos went under. We'll have more hedge funds go under. There are going to be increased margin requirements later this year because there will be global hedge fund um, compliance uh, changes. So compliance issues with hedge funds around the world, especially in the U.S., are going to require uh, greater initial margin requirements. You have that on the horizon. You have an absolute recession where there's going to be no doubt there's a recession. If you can say, well, it's priced in. I don't think anything's really priced into the market now. We're still at bubble. We're still in a bubble. I don't think people realize that the crypto world is going to absolutely implode just like the, worse than what happened with dot-com. Okay. With the, with the, before the dot com implosion is it was the exact same thing taking place within uh, the crypto scene now. I remember the dot com implosion of twenty years ago, so it was the, it's the same thing now. There are there are cracks, and you know you have Terra, Terra Luna going under, and you have Coinbase with four hundred million dollars in losses, and you have Tether basically almost certainly lying about their reserves, and you have you know. These kind of scams like a stable coin. There's no such thing as a stable coin. And then DeFi, de decentralized finance scams. Um, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum maybe. Bitcoin could, ha could have inherent value because of the technology. But the technology is tied to, like I said, optimism. And when there's no optimism in the overall stock market, it ain't a good hedge for anything. Inflation makes things, pe like, puts people into a bear market, pessimistic mindset so how on earth could bitcoin be a hedge to inflation that makes no sense at all Infl when inflation is high stocks stock prices suffer and then interest rates go up to fight the inflation that they actually created so it, it, it's like it's like this thing is going to tank all of it's going to tank especially the u.s uh the stable coins usdc usdt uh, whether it's whether it's uh, Tether or, you know, USDC, it's going to be the same thing, unfortunately. Coinbase will also go under as they confiscate accounts. I mean, the whole thing is going to really tank, ladies and gentlemen. And it's not going to be fun. People are going to continue to lose money. This isn't just like when people say, oh, you know, I'm a veteran of Bitcoin. 
You've never seen, though, this macroeconomic world. There hasn't been this macroeconomic world since the 70s. Hit subscribe to the Bitcoin crash to 10,000 or lower channel. I don't want this to happen, but it's happening. Give me your.